everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I have a get ready with me using the Monarch palette by Kat Von D. I had a few requests on people wanting uh, to see a tutorial using this palette. So I just created this look for you. It's a wearable look that you can wear in the daytime and in the evening as well. It has been kind of my go-to look lately with this palette. So um, if you guys want to see how I got this, then just keep on watching. Okay, for primer, I'm going to use the Professional. I love this stuff. It's my all-time favorite. It does a really good job of covering the pores and keeping me matte through the day. I just put that just in my T-zone and then I blend it through the rest. I'm using the Kors Lip Balm in Jasmine. I'm just gonna use that to moisturize my lips. So I usually like to uh, have my primer sit for a little bit, so I'm just going to go on to the eyes and I'm going to prime with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I'm just going to take my Stigma uh, P84 and I'm just going to just apply that on the lids. For foundation today, I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match in the color W5. It is my all-time favorite drugstore foundation. It just... I don't know, every time I use it, it just impresses me more and more. I love the finish that it gives. It gives a beautiful satin finish, but it also, it covers really, really nice and it keeps me matte. Um, the color right now matches me perfectly. So I'm just going to dot that everywhere. Then I like to use my buffing brush by Real Techniques and I'm just going to pat that in. And then I use circular motions to blend it out. So just packing it in just adds a bit more coverage. And then just to blend everything, I like to use circular motions. Okay, so on to the palette. I'm going to take this light brown shade right here. It is matte, and I'm going to apply that in the crease. And this uh, is actually a really nice transition color. It brings the colors together really nicely. I'm going to take the Real Technique shader brush and I'm just going to take this beautiful champagne color right here. It is one of my favorite colors in the palette and we are just going to put that all over the lid. It is gorgeous. I love this color. I cannot get enough of it. Then I'm going to take my E25 from the Stigma line and I'm going to take this uh, brown shade right here. It's a satin finish. It's very very pretty and I'm just gonna apply that just um, in the crease and just slightly bring it in towards the middle as well. just with a pencil brush I'm going to take this um, matte dark brown shade and just apply that on the outer corner and this is just going to deepen up the look a little bit more So with a crease brush, I'm just going to take this shade right here. It's just a light uh, blending shade with a bit of sparkle, but I'm just going to add just a little bit. I'm just going to blend out those harsh lines just through the top here. Then we're going to take this shade right here and we're going to apply that on the brow bone. So for my brows, I'm going to take this Benefit Give Me Brow, and I've been really liking it. I've been really lazy doing my eyebrows, this is really quick and easy and fast for me, so. Then I'm going to take the Milani Clear Brow Gel and just going to set that. Um, that Benefit Give Me Brow does set it, but my eyebrows are kind of crazy, so it needs that extra hold. And I really like this one by Milani. 
Um, I do have the Anastasia Brow, Brow Clear Gel, and I find that this works just as good, and it's drugstore, so it's half the price. I don't think I'll be repurchasing the Anastasia one, so. For eyeliner, I'm using the CoverGirl Liquid Liner. I like it because it's really small, so it's really easy to hold in your hand. It's The brush is okay on here, but you just have to be really careful because you can do a really thick line with this, so it's not that easy to do a really thin line with this liner. Okay, for my eyelashes, I'm going to use this Rimmel Lash Exhilarator uh, Mascara. It is my all-time favorite uh, drugstore mascara, so, and I um, finally got to open up another one because I used up my I Love Extreme, which is another all-time favorite of mine. I just need to go get some more, so. So today I'm going to use the Age Rewind Concealer. This one is in Neutralizer. This one is the color is comparable to the MAC Prep and Prime, so I don't really like using that one every day. I like to switch it up. And I just like the brightness that it gives. I'll just do a triangle here. Okay, this thing is stuck. There we go. I like this stuff because it's very easy to blend out. I love how it feels just putting it on. So down the bridge of my nose, anywhere where I like to highlight is where I like to apply it. And I always use the Expert Face Brush to blend that out. And I just do patting motions again. And this just adds more coverage. To set that, I've been taking the Hourglass in Dim Light, and I just set that underneath my eyes. Again, and some padding motion so you don't disturb the concealer. I really like my Laura Mercier brightening powder, but I ran out of that stuff and I don't really want to spend money on it right now. So, so to set that, I'm going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte in Transparent. I've been liking using this stuff lately just because it is getting warmer out and it does keep me more matte through the day. So this is a great um, drugstore powder. And it doesn't look cakey on at all either. Again, I'm using padding motions. My camera shut off. I'm sorry about that, but I took this brown shimmery shade with a angled uh, small brush and I just applied that underneath the lash line. Then I took the NYX Wonder Pencil and this one's in the shade Light, I believe. Yeah. And I just added it in the corner of my eyes and I like to use this underneath um, any highlighter that I'm adding on top so and I did take that same shade that I used on my lid and I added that in the inner corner so for bronzer I've been taking this Sephora uh, Pro brush in 55 I don't normally like using this for foundation I didn't care for it for foundation I didn't, didn't find that it blended really nice maybe I'm using it wrong but I do like using it for bronzer so I'm gonna take this um, MAC Give Me Sun, and I'm just gonna just pat just a little bit. This stuff is pigmented. I'm just gonna use it to warm up my face. So I'm not gonna do a strong contour, just something that's gonna give me some warmth. And I'm gonna add that down the bottom of the neckline. So I'm just warming up the face. So I'm going to take one of my favorite shades and it's called Modern Mandarin by MAC. It is a satin finish. It's very pigmented. So I just dip it just a bit because I don't want my cheeks to look too orange. So, And then I just pat that in. So I like to dip and then pat. <laughs> I've been really into like the oranges lately. Um, last summer I was more into pinks and this summer is more about the peaches and the oranges. Okay, you guys know that I love the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Apricot, but today I'm going to put it down and I'm going to use something else. I'm going to use the um, Physicians Formula Warm Nudes Palette and I'm really surprised on how good these ones are. I've tried like the, the shimmering bricks by Physicians Formula, but they're not my favorite, but these ones here are, they are extremely pigmented. I'm just gonna add that on the top of my cheekbones, and I like to bring it up 
around the eye as well. And then down the bridge. And keep it full. I like to take a big stifling brush and just kind of just blend all the colors together here. Just to get rid of any harsh lines. Okay, then I'm going to take a MAC lipstick in Sushi Kiss. It's a satin finish. It's just a beautiful tangerine, uh, a light orange color. It's got a tint of peach in it, I guess, but it probably looks more orange than anything. I just did a video on my MAC lipsticks, and if you guys are looking for an orange color that is not too bright, like in your face, that's wearable, this is the color for you. Then I'm going to set that with the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray so that my makeup lasts all day. I shouldn't be talking while I'm spraying. <laughs> so that my makeup lasts all day. Okay. And this is the completed look. So um, this is one of my favorite palettes at the moment. I just love the quality. I do have a review on this palette, so make sure you check that out. I'll leave the link down below. This has just been my go-to look with that palette, and I absolutely love it. I want to thank everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.